guys, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, sorry, I have a sore throat today, but I didn't want to like stop recording and be like, oh, where are you? Like, haven't you? But every Monday, and it's Monday. <clears throat> so if I cough, I'll probably either edit it out or just tell it. Yeah, it's happening. I'm not sick per se, I just have a ton of allergies, <laughs> which is always fun. Um, anyway, this is going up two days before Halloween, my favorite holiday, so since I won't be uploading anything on Halloween, happy Halloween. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Also, I've got a photo in like my files in the DDLC file, like you go into files on your computer and then blah 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 but it's in there and I will put in editing magic it's here and it's really creepy so yeah shut up Paul. um yes October 22nd come on <clears throat> it's the day of the festival. I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Are you kidding me? She's got depression. You, you, okay, never mind. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry and gently rolled up to take with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything. Oh my gosh. I have pop-ups galore. That's always fun. Um, sometimes I can't see the text. Um, sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Will this pop-up ever go away? Okay, there we go. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. Yeah, it's recording. Sorry. Why? I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayuri and Yuri at the festival. Oh. Well, I'm excited for the event. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. Surreal. You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. Why are we trying to please Monica now? So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with her. You. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that... But I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. Exactly. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone and woke her up to wake her up after all. Yes, you should have. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Surreal. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. I know what's happening next. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all, but I stammered embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? And how I basically turned down her confession? Oh, that's right. Oh, I feel so bad. That makes me really seem like the bad guy here, but I'm the one who knows what's best for her. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Geez, you don't know the full story at all, so don't worry, there is no music anymore, so it's kind of creeping me out. Don't worry, I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, I don't like you. You know is eh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. I yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. 
Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed at our practice. What's this? I want to say Yuri's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I've heard before. Okay. Officially creeped out. Please don't do this to me. Oh, I get it. I know it's almost Halloween, but please no. I mean, I'm a sucker for scary things, but please no. Get out of my head. 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 Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Oh, hi, cat. Um, that's, no, oh, it's kind of scary. I don't want to do this anymore. Please stop. Uh... What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Surreal? What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written, but more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Monica, I don't care about you. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Mm, Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Exactly. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. See ya. Okay. <sighs> like a heartbeat monitor I could like show you guys how fast my heart is beating because oh my heck coming I need you I heard he probably wants his food oh <laughs> this music oh I'm so sorry Sayori I wish there was something I could have done. Uh, what the heck? What the heck? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Siri wouldn't do this. Well, Christian makes you do things that you wouldn't normally do. It was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? Oh yeah, he wanted his food. How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. Name yourself for that. It has to have been what pushed her over the edge. I don't think so. Remember what Monica said? Um, I don't know how to edit that back in there, so I'm just going to say, you kind of left her hanging this morning. Yeah, I think Monica... 
Agnes scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me that everything I could have done to prevent this, if I had just spent more time with her, for something like this. Suicide is a deeply personal thing, and sometimes isn't even the fault of another person. Locked her to school and gave her what I know she wants out of our wanted out of our relationship. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend, someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do, I do, can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Yeah, I'm not gonna try something different because that would hurt. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough, and now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers, but I still couldn't do what she needed from me, and now I can never take it back. Never. 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 All sad days. And... Oh. Wait, what? That is so weird. Um, really? I don't know how to say that. Blah, 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 blah. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's oblivious to any attention she might drive herself. Is she back? The girl is Avila, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself make. It just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more, more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let blah, 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 catch up to me. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. This is Please don't crash. Okay. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I met some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. And what am I? Just kidding. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pat my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't anything that interests me. Or any that interests me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Surreal? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you there. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. I'm really freaked out. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Yes, let her stay out of your league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've been looking for supplies to use for my... Supplies to use for my club. Yeah, supplies. Yeah, that's a word. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that, I actually quit the debate club. Debating is fun. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare events. More pop-ups are happening on my computer. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. 
In that case, what, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Oh, okay. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. But there are many different kinds of literature. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that, but it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything, reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that Penga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Ivana could just say, she? Hmm. Hey, Surreal, by any chance are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there really any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. I really don't like you. Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like <gasps> Monica? Sure, I guess I should check it. Could check it out. Ah, uh, awesome! I really hate Monica. You're really sweet, Cyril. You know that. It's nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the material. Materials. Materials another time. You're more important. Okay, that's. I. <sighs> I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, I'm leaving this here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm super freaked out. So, I guess thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And, yeah. I'm really freaking freaked out.